What's the best depth to plant garlic at? Well, that's a question I was wondering about nine months ago. And since then, I've been growing garlic at three different depths. And today we're going to harvest it to get some insight on the answer to that question. Oh, you. That's what we like to see. So before we dive in, let's go back in time nine months ago to see exactly how I set this experiment up. So back in October, the first thing that I did was dig the transplant holes and I did these all at seven inch off-centered spacing. I did the entire bed all at once to ensure that everything was gonna get the exact same amount of space. Now, once all the holes were dug, I then grabbed about a half handful of worm castings and put this into each one of the transplant holes. The reason for this is because that's gonna provide some nutrients as well as microbial life for the garlic to access and interact with as it develops its roots and begins to grow in the early springtime. Now, once I had the worm castings in place, I then took two pieces of garden twine and split the bed into three equal sized chunks. This is allowing me to have three different growing zones that I can test the different depths at. So for the row right in the middle, I went with the most standard or traditional approach of four inches in depth. This is what I've done every year in the past. It's worked really well, and it's going to serve as the control in this experiment. Now for the row to the right, I planted these ones so shallow. You can see that I was literally trying to get the top of the garlic clove to be flush with the soil level. So effectively planted at zero inches deep. And the rationale or curiosity on this front is because onions, which are also part of the allium family, grow really well when they're planted shallow. Now on the other side of the bed, I planted these ones super deep, so around seven inches in depth. And the rationale for this is twofold. First, I just wanted to have some contrast to the really shallow ones, but more importantly, we're planting garlic in the fall when it's going into the coldest parts of the year. And by having a couple more inches of soil on top of it, that's gonna provide more insulation and perhaps make it easier for the garlic to continue developing roots through the winter time. And as a result, potentially more foliage and a larger head in the springtime. Now, once I had all three sets planted, I put a leaf mulch over top of them for the winter time and every variable since then has been the exact same. They've all received the exact same amount of sunlight. I fed them the exact same nutrients in the springtime. They've been watered the exact same amount. Their garlic scapes were removed on the exact same day. Everything has been the exact same. And today is now July 28th, and we are all set and ready to begin harvesting this garlic. I just wanna put a little bit of a guess in or a hypothesis. I actually think the ones that are planted at the deepest, that seven inch in depth, are going to be the biggest. I'm making that prediction or that guess just based off the size of the stems. They're looking like they're the largest on that size, but let's first harvest over here on the really shallow side to see what we got. And these first ones are always underwhelming because they get the least amount of sun, but let's do it. Hey, that ain't bad. Whoa. Whoa, okay. I was saying underwhelming, but that's a good head of garlic for that close in. Whoa. Yep. Great head of garlic. Alrighty, they were too big for this tray here. I had to go to a bit of a larger one and I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite pleasantly surprised with the size of these ones in here. I didn't think they were gonna be that big. So let's now move on to row number two, which is the standard four inch depth. Whoa. Oh, yep. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, that's what we like to see. Alrighty, this one's got some size to it. Oh, nice one. Yo. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think the ones that were planted shallower might actually be a little bit bigger than those ones that are planted at four inches in depth. I'm gonna get them onto the scale in just a minute, but just before we do that, we of course have to harvest our third and final row planted at seven inches in depth. All right, now remember, these are the ones that I said I think will be biggest. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, that's a good start as well. Oh, they're way down there. Oh, that is a beauty. This row is off to an amazing start. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Decent 
one there. There. Was yeah, you. Right there. Alrighty, that last row was very consistently solid. But now to get the final results, we're gonna fast forward 14 days for the final weigh-in. All right, it is officially time for the final weigh-in. So it's about 14 days since I harvested the garlic. Since then, it's just been hanging out, air drying. And just a couple minutes ago, I chopped off all the necks and all the roots so that we can now get them onto the scale for that final weigh-in. Now this video is obviously the culmination of nine months of work. So if you have enjoyed this video, Video. It'd mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel here. And if you want to see some of the other experiment results for all kinds of different crops that I've been experimenting with, I'm going to include links to other experiment videos down in the description here. But with that being said, let's now get these garlic heads onto the scale. First one we're going to start with is the zero inch depth. All right, bowl on there. Let's zero it out. And here we go. And for reference, there are 28 heads that successfully grew. All righty, zero inches in depth yielded 1.45 kilograms. All right, so that means that the average weight per head at zero inches in depth is 51 grams per head. Now, let's pop these off of the scale and move on to our next one, which is the garlic planted at four inches in depth. Here we go. Four inches in depth. These ones, I think this is gonna be bigger. Phew. Man, these are nice. All righty, here we go. 2,184 or 2.185 kilograms. And that's across 32 heads of garlic, which means two things. That one, a couple more heads of garlic survived the winter, probably because they were planted a little bit deeper and better insulated. And the second piece is that the average weight per head when planted at four inches in depth climbed to 68 grams. So a pretty significant increase from 51 to 68 grams per head. And I can totally see the difference just in the size of them when they're side by side. Now let's pop these off and pop on the final set of garlic. These are the ones that I thought were going to be the largest. Let's see if I was right. All righty, the final weigh in. Here we go. All righty, up over the edge. Here we go, 1.5, 1.7, kilograms. But what was the actual weight per head for these ones planted seven inches deep? So there were 27 heads in this part of the experiment, which once again means that a couple less did not make it through the winter as they did at the four inch depth. So from a kind of just overall depth perspective, I think four inches performed best on that front. Now in terms of the total weight, that means that the average weight per head for these planted seven inches deep came out to 65 grams per head. So for myself, I'm gonna continue planting my garlic at four inches in depth, but I'm now gonna rest easy knowing what the best option is. Hope this has been valuable. If you wanna see more experiments, then subscribe to the channel here and check out some of those videos down below. And if you wanna know how to grow garlic all the way from clove to harvest, check out this video right here.